Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Welcome to your weekly love general readings for singles, couples, or anyone who needs love messages for um, February 8th to the 15th, 2019. So, of course, it's going to be a little bit shorter than our monthlies are, but it's still going to give you a lot of great information. Um, thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Let me get closer here. <clears throat> Uh, guys, if this doesn't resonate with you, check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. If you don't know it, check out the link below. If you like a personal reading with me, go to the link below or go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or as I said, check out the link below. <laughs> All right, let's get started. What's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, current romantic love life for this time period? Show me the card you need to see. Show me the card you need to see. Okay, so something about the Six of Pentacles. Um, well, actually, this card's usually about um, not equal give and take, but this one actually has equal give and take. So something is an equal give and take for you in your a romantic love life or something to do with finances. All right. Um, what is Aries blockage for this time period? Show me the card you need to see. Show me the card you need to see. So your blockage at the moment, you have to wait for something to happen. Okay. What is Aries' strength for the romantic love life of this time period? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Your strength is actually, could be this water sign person, Air, uh, I was about to say Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. That could be a strength in your romantic love life or just making wise decisions when it comes to love. What is something from Aries past has affected Aries current love state? Show me the card you need to see. Show me the card you need to see. Thank you. So someone may have physically walked away or you may have walked away from someone physically in the past. Or this just may have been uh, something that happened mentally. Maybe uh, someone just was numb in their emotions and didn't want to deal with it and walked away from them internally. You were the other person. What? Who is coming towards Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign? For February, okay, thank you. Possibly an earth sign person or somebody who's going to offer you some kind of messages of commitment with the page of pentacles. What's uh, going to happen in the immediate future? Okay, thank you. So something that's going to happen in the immediate for you guys that you cannot change is the ace of, uh, God, the ace of wands and the page of swords. What does this represent? This represents um, some kind of new situation for you. Obviously, the Page of Pentacles is saying there's a new opportunity here. There's a, 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 a new path in commitment. Um, uh, you're probably going to get some communication from this person. They could be a fire sign person as well because of this uh, right here. Um, let me kind of just take a look at this for a second here. So there's an equal give and take. A new opportunity. Okay. What's something about this person that we don't know that we need to know? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Hmm. Well, they could be a Leo with the Sun card. Um, what you don't know is, is the fact that, that you make them happy. Um, okay. So what's Aries advice for the situation what's Aries advice for the situation for the person coming towards them what should they do what should they do what's their advice show me the card I need to see show me the card I need to see Ooh. so this could be saying to you either get your finances order with the nine of Pentacles or something about being single hmm Let's take a look at this here. There's blockages and you're going to have to wait. So you're going to have to wait until, ah, okay, 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 okay. I think your, your, your romantic love life this week is being affected by your finances, to be honest with you. Mm, because it's saying wait for your equal share, right? Wait for your equal share. That's the blockage. In your romantic love life, your strength is a wise decision in love. And you have this page of pentacles coming towards you, messages of love or something tangible. But I think uh, in order to commit to this person, it looks like possibly you may have to get your finances in order. Maybe you're waiting on something financially here 
and you know you can't really move forward because you know uh, families and commitment and stuff like that cost money so um, yes there is this new opportunity coming up for you this new path for commitment but I think you're gonna have to get your finances in order in order to take advantage of that so let's do some clarification here all right let me put this aside All right, I definitely want to see what is up with this King of Cups here for the strength? Why is the King of Cups here for the strength? Why is the King of Cups here for the strength? So you're definitely going to make a wise decision because you're going to be victorious. All right. So if, if it's a water sign, it's a wise decision in love. Okay. If it is a uh, just your choice this this week then yes you're going to make a wise decision in love okay but it does feel to me like all right why is the blockage here why why do you want why why is the blockage the hangman please let's get an understanding of that hmm it's because of the knight of wands so you want to wait You or the other person wants to wait because they want to make sure that there's not something going on here where someone's going to come and go. There's no commitment. It may be you, actually. Because of something that happened in your past where you may, maybe it was you who walked away from your emotions or walked away from somebody, now you want to make sure, hey, look, um, if there's going to be commitment here, I'm, I'm in. But if there's not, I'm holding off from this, okay? But you're going to make a wise choice this week in love. So don't worry about it. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here? See, it does have to do with work, finances. Um, or you could be working with this person too. There's definitely work-related things around your, your love life this, this month. Nor normally for you, Aries, it's not the case. But this time, yes, there is. Uh, and I would say that Knight of Wands also could represent you because you're a fire sign person i'm not saying that you're um the player type but i'm just saying <clears throat> you are holding up on an action because you don't want to be in a situation where someone's not going to commit but definitely is something to do with work and finances or school here so you really can't move forward i don't feel like you i feel like you want to hold off because you want to make sure this is going to work out that there's going to be commitment here you don't want someone to to do what they did in the past um, okay so let's find out why we have the ace of rods here why is the ace of rods here so the ace of rods is here because someone's decided to either stand up and fight or walk away but obviously this is a new opportunity for you this is a new opportunity of passion for you why is the page of swords here I see I see I see so the page of swords is definitely here because you're holding off you want to make sure that this is a balanced choice and you want to be honest with yourself and you want to be honest with this person so you're going to communicate to this person that you know you want a balanced situation you want an equal give and take here and you're kind of like waiting you're kind of waiting in your current situation here so you're going to communicate to this person that you know that's what you're interested in. And what's your advice here? What's your advice? Ace of Pentacles. I mean, Nine of Pentacles. Why, why is the advice in Nine of Pentacles? Choice and love. Two of Cups. Soulmate connection. Okay, one more card. Nine of Pentacles, please. Nine of Pentacles, please. Love again. Okay, so this has to do with love. So you're going to get your finances in order. You want to make sure that in this, this situation this week, you're going to make a wise choice in love. So no worries on that. Um, it looks like you're trying to get your finances in order because of love and commitment. You have this new opportunity. You want to make sure that you're going to have an equal work-life balance here. You, you're trying to be honest with this person about the fact that you're going to stand up and fight for the situation. The person that's coming towards you, you they do make you, um, you make them happy. So, and also the sun card represents material happiness. So that's something you don't know as well. So this is a good situation here. 
So it looks like you have a new uh, situation coming in, uh, potentially from a water sign person, um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or potentially an earth sign person. I'm seeing earth and I'm seeing water here, okay? So earth being Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Uh, but in the present situation, because you're waiting, it looks like your finances, you're waiting for your finances to get together, um, you're kind of holding off and you're trying to get your finances together before you can take advantage of this opportunity. You're going to be honest with this person about the fact that you're kind of, you want to take this opportunity, but you want to make sure that there's a good work-life balance in your situation. And if it's dealing with a relationship, it looks to me, uh, if it's not dealing with money, then the other situation I see here is that you were hurt in the past and someone walked away from you and walked away from someone else because of something that wasn't an equal give and take. And you want to make sure this time that there's going to be an equal give and take in the situation. Maybe it wasn't even financially, there wasn't an equal give and take in the relationship. So you definitely want an equal give and take in this situation moving forward. And you're going to communicate that to that person coming up this week. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry, I went a little bit longer than I wanted to, but um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you want a personal reading, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. I love you guys.